Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at ISC 13 in Leipzig, Germany, and we're here at the Student Cluster Competition. This is the second year of this event, and uh, I've got I've got here I've got Dan Oles and some of the folks that have been advising these students. And so, Dan, I want to start with you. Uh, why do we have this competition? What's it about? And uh, um, um, give us the nuts and bolts. Thanks, Rich. I've been following these things since 2010. Uh, this is the second ISC, so that first one was last year in 2012. And what fascinated me about these competitions is that these are undergraduate kids. These aren't HPC professionals. They're designing, they're architecting, they're building their own supercomputer, they're doing the project management to go out and get a sponsor on board and make sure they're getting what they need. They're learning about these applications and going through everything that a professional has to do on their own time. And it's a great educational thing, and you see the enthusiasm of these kids. Uh, it's, to me, it's just wonderful to see. Now, the thing that's great here, and probably the next thing to talk about, is what it does for the institutions, the, the universities that send the kids. And we've got Doug Smith from Colorado, and we have Steve Harrell from Purdue. And these two teams were the very first in 2007 to do this, and they've done it pretty much every year since. So, Doug, what, what are you guys getting out of this? Well, we're getting an experience for our students uh, that really helps them transition and prepare for uh, a career in HPC out in industry. Uh, they're getting exposed to a lot of new technology, a lot of networking uh, opportunities, um, and uh, an experience to, uh, you know, sleep deprivation. Yes, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Well, well, they are college students after all. So uh, uh, what do we have, uh, eight teams this year? Uh, we have eight teams. Eight teams, okay. And uh, um, I, I wanted to ask you guys, I mean, you guys were here from the start. How, how has this evolved from, from the original vision? What do you think? So we've had, uh, you know, it, I'm Andy Howard with Purdue. Um, I'm one of the co-advisors here with Stephen. Uh, you know, the big thing that we've noticed over the years is how, how rapidly this has expanded to not just U.S. teams. You know, the first year it was mostly U.S. Um, and so watching other countries start to get involved with this, starting their own competitions like the ISC competition, um, and then also the introduction of accelerators. In 2007, we didn't have GPUs and, and FI coprocessors as kind of a standard. And so it was really more traditional x86 hardware. And as accelerators have come in, it's really just kind of widened the, the competition quite a bit. A comment on that is we see a wide variety of different kinds of hardware. Accelerators. We now have every team is using accelerators. It used to be about half and half starting about 2010. We've also seen liquid cooling. We've had two teams do immersive liquid cooling. It's deep fried clusters inside a mineral oil base. And that's incredible to watch. I think it was Purdue that you used a side cortex machine way back when. No one had ever seen one before and they haven't seen one since. But it was very interesting. And one of the things to talk about, and I think that you'd be great to comment on this, Steve, is what your curriculum, what this has done to your curriculum in computer science and HPC. Hi. Right. So uh, we first uh, worked on our curriculum just as kind of a tool to, uh, to get uh, students ready for, for uh, the cluster challenge. But it's kind of moved beyond that. Uh, we, we run a, kind of a survey course that, that, that takes us... Uh, Basically, from a, from we from a, a bucket of parts, if you will, we, we take uh, little FEs, just the ba the bare bones atom boards, and then uh, we have the students install basically auto installers and the infrastructure to install it. Uh, we, we we make them install a scheduler, uh, and, and then from there we uh, we have have them. We work with a, a weather professor, and we have them uh, compile and run the wharf, and, and then after they're done running the wharf, we actually have them uh, you know. Uh, use Python and, and, and scientific Python to to pull out, you know, something uh, simple like uh, the average temperature for a day. So you kind of take it from, uh, you know, almost what can be considered the esoteric to something that that, that is, uh, you know, really concrete and understandable for every day. So so we're actually running a survey course, and, and the, this uh, this competition uh, helped us helped us do that. You know, that that was my next question: is what did they come into this competition? You know, what did they know beforehand, and what what are they like when they come out? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
so our students uh, come from all different engineering or science disciplines. They're not just computer science. Some of them know nothing, and we bring them from uh, from not having any Linux or HPC experience up to uh, being able to compete. Uh, some of them are computer science majors who are doing internships in HPC. So we have uh, everybody across the board. Uh, many of our students, this is their first uh, introduction to parallelism and, and scientific computing. So uh, we're really using this to sort of prime the pump for the next generation of, uh, of HPC talent. Uh, I don't know, you guys. One point I'd want to make, and I think this will get everybody nodding their heads, one thing these students have, jobs. In fact, your seniors on both of your teams are all either employed or they're going to be, as some are on the payroll at large uh, IT companies now or with research, um, I'm hearing names like Intel, Grumman, companies like that, because who better would you get to fill this talent gap than kids who have spent months out of their own time to do this for fun and to learn? What better employee could you possibly have? That's a huge thing. Great. Well, I guess a uh, uh, question for the panel here is, how many students have gone through this that you're aware of in the world? Is there any kind of aggregate number? Is anyone... Uh, I mean, when you talk about building the next... Are we talking hundreds of kids? Hundreds, yeah. hundreds of kids. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and this has been an identified gap for many years. A lot of us are turning gray in the HPC community. And we're going to go retire, and we really need people to fill these chairs, don't we? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hundreds. I mean, it's hundreds of students probably just for your two programs. And multiply that times eight teams a year. Now we have three major competitions. And the, the China competition had 42 schools that were interested in competing. 42? 42. South Africa had their own mini competition that attracted five or six schools with uh, six or eight kids each team. This is growing very quickly. Um, and uh, what I'm hoping is that we can get the, get the interest in the general IT population enough uh, just to show people this. Everybody I've talked to that hears about these competitions wants to know more about it because there's a, it's fun and it's interesting and it's great to watch the kids. It's a great source of talent. And I want to spread the word about this and get it to be like college football. And uh, that's what's going to pull even more people into it. And I think when you guys talk to your students about this, do you ever have one that says, this is lame, we don't want to do it? We don't want to go to China, we don't want to go to Germany, we don't want to go to, we don't want to, go to Salt Lake City. You never hear that. We want to get out there, we want to compete, we want to have fun, and we want to show what we can do. Great. Well, uh, congratulations, guys. I guess. There, uh, it concludes tomorrow, and there'll be a, a winner crown. Uh, any any bets here? Uh, are they neck and neck? What's it look like? Don't know the results. Don't know the results, but the handicapping and the insiders, and I'm running a betting pool online. <laughs> the insiders say, take a close look at uh, Tsinghua from China. Um, there, I wouldn't count out some of the newer schools. Um, if you look at hardware, the uh, Chemnitz guys brought enough hardware that if they fire it all up, I want to see it, but I don't want to be close to it. <laughs> I, I want to see it from afar, uh, kind of like a nuclear test. It, but it's, it's wide open because all these kids know what they're doing, and it's going to be close, I think. What do you guys think? These kids are all winners. Oh, yeah. There's the winning and losing thing. That's fun to talk about. Yeah. But being here and doing this, that's a real reward. And the winning thing is talking to these kids that are going to be going off and doing really important jobs in HPC and research. And um, that's the real goal. And that's, what, that's why these guys are devoting their time to it, because it makes their program stronger, because they've got kids that are out there now uh, in the business. It didn't, it, like Brent Gorda, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't he come out of Colorado? Yes. Yeah. And uh, he's the, th the father of student cluster competitions. And uh, they're hiring kids out of this at Intel and other places. Any closing thoughts? I, I would like to say something. Sure, sure, sure. Um, for us, this is a, a lot about education. We certainly are competitive and we want to uh, stay competitive. But I think more than that, we want to make sure that uh, you know we have strong HPC students. And actually, it's not. Uh, it, 
it, it's also a little selfish because we run our own, uh, you know, it's a, it's a small center, but uh, we need these kids too. Uh, it's not always easy to get people to come out to West Lafayette and, uh, you know, getting, getting them and training them as they are is especially great for us. And, and uh, we do that uh, to, to get uh, working, uh, working system administrators uh, on our own systems. All right. Well, that's it from ISC 13 Student Cluster Competition. The winner will be announced tomorrow. We'll see you next time.